back to Farming Simulator and today we're going to have a look at a question that was asked on Discord. Just which is better or are they the same? Direct disc with a forage harvester or mowing for grass shield. So I have a small plot of grass in front of me. And if I just get flight mode on. So small plot of grass here. It's been plowed, limed, fertilized planted rolled as well so it should have everything that it needs to be good and i've put a, a concrete barrier around or headland around it so that we always mow the same amount and i'm going to do four tests i'm going to do the forage harvester with the direct disc the mower and then picking up with a loading wagon i'm going to do the same two tests again then with maze plus added because maze plus can affect things like this i'm not going to use silage additive in either because that should be consistent across the two um so really there is not a lot more to do than get stuck in to getting all this moan or mode moan i'm not sure anyway so this came about because someone on my discord asked if it made a difference they did some testing and I think they found a difference, but I can't remember what the conclusion was. Um, and with most things like this, I like to do my own testing just so that I know the conditions that things were tested under. Uh, for example, I know that, you know, I'm not accidentally going to pick up an extra bit of headland or whatever because there's concrete and the concrete doesn't yield anything. So I'm hoping that it's all going to fit in the one trailer. If not, we'll need to buy another trailer um and yeah i'm just going to just repeat this process four times so um i've got autosave turned off and each time i'm going to close the game and reload the save so we're at the same point and yeah just mow and mow and mow and uh it's not a question that had occurred to me before as to whether there would be a difference or not um I had assumed they would be the same, but I do know with Farm Sim that you should never assume things will be the same because things don't always pay for what you expect in Farm Sim. So that's why we test. Um, yeah, and yeah, you know, if if you're ever curious about these things, test them for yourself. It's not hard. Um, and I have made taken advantage of easy dev controls to add in a bunch of money if you're playing on console you could just add in the government subsidy sign and generate a lot of money everything else has been done by playing farm sim so apart from the flying bit but that's not really essential to doing the test that's just me showing you what i've set up to do the test so you know um and then you can do it with whatever mod you are running you know whether it's a map with any custom customizations on fruit or um, precision farming I'm not going to test precision farming on here I do think the precision farming certainly used to yield more grass but I don't think I think that would be consistent across the uh, different methods of harvesting collecting mowing I really should have had some sort of GPS installed to uh, make this a little bit neater I could just stick it on a worker um, but just for this first one, we'll, we'll do it manually. I might do the rest on work. I'm really keen to just make sure that I get every blade of grass so that we're somewhat consistent. And there is, I think, naturally a small amount of variation in how much you get. I um, don't know if that's a random factor that is added in or just one of those things, but I have found that doing this kind of thing, yeah, there's slightly different amounts even just repeating the same thing so if it's within a few percent i'm going to put that down to kind of measurement error um but if it's more than that then we'll we'll class it as a valid difference i'm going to finish this up uh, it looks like we are going to need another trailer um and i'll be back so pretty much done and um, i'm hoping i managed to edit that last piece together into something that was kind of okay because uh 
Mrs. D was calling out to ask me a question part way through. So if you're wondering why things were a little bit disjointed, that's why I need to go back and get that tuft that I missed. Um, got a reasonable amount off of here, actually. I should have made this slightly smaller area, I think, so that I could have done it in one trailer load or got a cheatier trailer. Um, I'm never sure what trailers will attach to forage harvesters, so I went for one of the base game dolly trailers. I think this was the biggest one. Um, and I'm, I thought 25,000 litres would be enough. So, obviously not. Um, so we've got more than 25,000 litres because the other trailer was pretty much full as I finished the last run that I used it on. So it's that done. We'll just run down and uh, get a total for these two. So let me grab a pen and a piece of paper so that I can write them down. So we have 11,975 plus 25,428 for the forage harvester. So let me reload and we'll test with the mower. We're back. We've got another crone, this time the big bud, because why not? Um, I really should have added in GPS whilst I was between loads, but it'll be fine. Um, this guy runs pretty quickly from what I remember, so hopefully it didn't take us too long to get this all known. I'm going to make sure that I missed a bit, darn it. i make sure that the loading wagon that I've got can hold the... 37,403 litres that we got off of the uh, the forage harvester so that in theory we can do this in one pass because that would be really nice um, obviously much quicker in the big M because it has a bigger working width which is really nice um, I just need to make sure that when I do my turns A, I get all of the grass because that's two bits that I've missed that I've got to go back and get and B, I don't overshoot and uh, stick myself in the grass hedge, hedges, verges, that sh not even, but headlands, not really headlands, they're tracks that are a little bit further away, um, but going so fast are probably quite easy to hit. Um, yeah, so it shouldn't take too long to get this mown and I'll be back when we are in the Deutz with a loading wagon. So this loading wagon will hold 46,000 litres so should be plenty of space for collecting all of this grass up. Why didn't you drop down? Why don't you want to drop down? Oh, there we go, I need to unfold you first. All right, onwards. We did let me switch it on, but didn't say that it needs unfolding. Anyway. We'll see how we go loading all of this up. I went and collected the bits I had missed. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll be back when it's done. There's no point me uh, me showing you picking up grass with a loading wagon. You know what that looks like. You must do. You more swaths to go, and uh, it's looking quite interesting because with the forage harvester, we got. 37,403 litres. And we have surpassed that. Which is not at all what I expected. Um, by a long way. I... And we might even fiddle this forage wagon. I might need to... Uh, empty it and start again. Um because I've missed a few little bits as well. And I'm not too worried about the few little missed bits because the kind of the bulk answer is, yeah, so let's just make a note of that. 46,600, so it's already 9,000 litres more. I'm going to empty that and then we'll, uh, we'll go around and grab the missed bits but that that's quite a lot more it's confused me 
got to admit, it's confused me. I did not expect that. I'm not sure it's worth picking up these odd tens of litres. This is something that I was talking to Kartik about on multiplayer. If it was much closer, I think I would. But at this point, it really isn't. It's uh, quite a significant difference. Definitely not in the noise of measurement error. Yeah, I'm I'm thoroughly confused, got to admit. It is not at all what I expected. So that's another 3,154 litres. So give me a second. So with the forage harvester, we got 37,403 litres. And with the mowers, we got 49,754 litres or an extra 12,351 litres, which is about 30% more. I find that really hard to believe, but that's what the testing shows. So, uh, yeah. What's your experience with this? I'm going to reload with Maze Plus and see what we get with that. So back again, I have enabled Maze Plus, I think. It's the easiest way for me to check is, yes, we have mower conditioning available on the big M. I'm not going to use the conditioner because it doesn't look like we have a conditioner available on here. What we also have available is GPS. Uh, so off we go. Repeat the process and see what we get this time. I am so very confused by that result. I say I did not expect that the mowers would yield so much more um seems quite counterintuitive i say i would have assumed at least that they were the same um but no no they are very very different i uh, uh, yeah i didn't did not expect that um I'm going to say thank you at this point to the patrons and the YouTube channel members. Appreciate you guys supporting the channel as always. Um, if you're interested in either of those, there are links below or there's the join button for YouTube. Patrons better. So I'll, uh, I'll get to work mowing this again. And uh, I'll see you at the other end with an answer for the Orange Harvester direct disc with Maze Plus. Last couple of rows with the Forage Harvester with Maze Plus. And um, I, I stopped the first trader a little bit earlier, so not really sure yet how different the yield is, if it's different at all. Um, it was a convenient point to stop, um, I think probably a run earlier, so. There is definitely less in the first trailer. So, uh, yeah, calculators at the ready, folks. We'll uh, add up and see what the difference is from adding Maze Plus in with the direct disc. Let's see if that makes a difference. Um, and then we'll get the mowers out and see how that compares. So we have... Uh, 15,745 and 21,660 equals 37,405. So no difference there with adding in Mage Plus. So to reload and get the mowers going. The observant amongst you will have noticed that using the forage harvester we were getting conditioned grass. 
though we need to enable the conditioner so we will press the Z or Z key and we will put it on swathing mode and we will get to work um, so one of well, I was going to say one of the hardest bits in doing this kind of testing is remembering not to save the game when you quit but actually what I have just found is that by the time you're on the fourth iteration of doing the same thing one of the hardest things is just being consistent with how you do things um, so the first time I mowed this I didn't realize that I was getting conditioned grass and so I have mowed this once already and then started to pick it up and realized that I had need to have the conditioner on so yep just to make it consistent um, I have done a test on condition versus unconditioned grass yield and from what I remember it doesn't make a difference but if you're really curious you could go check that video out which is on my channel um, but the nice thing is the big M is really quick at mowing so we're going to get through this really quickly and then we'll see if we get a similar difference in yield with maze plus enabled um, maize plus does change things to do with yields with forage harvesters and things so it is possible that we'll get a different answer but we'll just really have to wait and see it's not going to be that long um, yeah as I said sometimes the most difficult thing with this testing and it's why I always quit and reload so that I get the same field is just being consistent with your testing across so many tests um, you know, I try my best with this kind of stuff to get results that are consistent and uh, you know that you can use in your own gameplay and that I, that I feel are valid but sometimes it's you know it, it's not always easy um, I'm really confused by the difference in yield from that first test I as I said you can probably tell I really did not expect to have such a difference from mowing versus direct disking um i very very rarely use the direct disc i might have a look in the data um before i wrap this up just to see if there's anything obvious in the xml uh, as to why they would be different but i'm uh, at the moment yeah I'm not really sure right. you can see the the, uh, the over the top kit that i used over there to set this field up um, a mixture of some fun tractors and just some of my favorite tractors or like the uh Deutz that we are in do love driving this tractor just think it looks so cool um if any you know i think it might have been blower that did it in fs19 um i loved the the variant of this that was available in gray with tracks on the back now i haven't checked i might be doing a car tech here but i don't think that there are tracks available on this in game in the base game i don't think it's in fact i think this may not be this is the smaller one this is the eight series because i think it's the base game one um so i gotta admit i haven't checked the modded nine series to see if it is available with tracks in the gray that i like um i think it also looks really cool in the deutsch green i just really and i love the shape of this tractor it's uh yeah it's a really nice tractor um i wish and i know they but they sort of did I think they made a prototype of a big big tractor um I wish Deutz made a big, you know, like a two track or something. That would be really cool. Um, I guess it's based on the markets that they operate in and the uh, the machinery that people want, you know. It's uh, probably less demand for those kind of tractors in their predominant markets. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how we get on. You know, we've done more than half the field now, and uh, yeah, we're we're doing probably similar for yield, I would guess. Yeah, yeah, we're probably about that similar. Um, I'll do the same thing. What I'll do is I'll uh, 
I'll drive until we're full and then I'll use F12 to empty the trailer and restart. I don't know why I'm doing that versus buying a second one like I did for all the forage harvesting. Um, again, it makes no difference. So it's just, it's just it's slightly quicker at this point and having, you know, mown this grass four times, it would be nice to uh, to wrap this up and have some more conclusions. So, very quickly coming up on the amount of grass that we got with the direct disc. Um, I still can't tell if we're going to get the same amount as we had without Maze Plus. It's uh, uh, yeah. We shall see. I should have stopped recording and come back when we were done. Because my uh, my rambling skills are just not there today. Uh, feels like we're going to get less. Feels like we're going to get less. So that is kind of interesting kind of interesting uh, got more than we did with the direct disc we might get another 7,000 litres off swath um, maybe we're at about the same point actually, we'll see we'll see um, yes I saw I missed a tiny bit, I don't think that's going to make a statistically significant difference there we go so that's the uh the 46,600 so let's just make a note of that and then we'll use f12 to empty and off we go again and see if we get the same amount we're going to be pretty close actually we are going to be pretty close i might have to go and grab that little piece uh, actually I think we are pretty much at the same point because last time we had 3,154 litres and I did leave a tiny bit in the field so I think we're going to say that that is indeed the same so let me just make a quick note of that 3,223 and uh, I'm just going to go and look at a few things in the data and I'll be back for some conclusions. So I couldn't see anything obvious in the data there looking in the, uh, the XML files for the map. It is worth bearing in mind that this is a base game map. So things might be a bit different if you're using a modded map that has anything custom for the fruits or anything like that. But the uh so the results and um, i'll put them on the screen as well probably so with the direct disc with out and with maze plus we got 37,403 that was without maze plus and then 30,000 37,405 liters with maze plus so essentially the same amount and then with the mower and then the forage wagon we got 49,754 litres without Maze Plus and 49,823 with Maze Plus. I'm going to say they're essentially the same. I did leave some small bits of grass on the field when I did the forage wagon without Maze Plus. So I did not expect that at all that the, uh, the direct disc would yield so much less. So whoever it was who asked on discord thank you for suggesting that i test this i don't know if this is the same result as you've got if you're watching and you've tried this and you've got different results let me know because so this result has totally confused me so but we've tested it twice now essentially and got the same answer so it must be right anyway if you enjoyed the video and found it interesting please click the like button if you didn't like it press the dislike button um comments questions suggestions below have you tested this yourself and found something different and uh if you're new to the channel and you found this interesting and you're not please think about subscribing and i will see you next time on farming simulator